everybody my name is Caitlin welcome back to my channel um, I am a reseller I sell on Poshmark Mercari and eBay I'm also dabbling now with Etsy Kitizen and Curtsy so I don't really have much to say on those three platforms I've only sold one thing on Etsy the other two I've not moved anything yet so I'm still figuring them out but I have a haul here and I went to Maine with my family and had a week vacation, which was wonderful. We stayed on a beautiful lake in, in a cabin. It was great. Um, but I went thrifting because I can't help myself and I need help. So yeah, but I went thrifting and I bought a bunch of inventory at the local Goodwill and the Goodwill outlet, also known as the bins. Now, Lori Tata from Lori's Boston Found, um, I will link her channel below. She also has a podcast with another reseller named Daniela. It's called the Thrifters Villa. Um, I watch both, I listen to the podcast, watch Lori's channel. Um, Daniela has a channel. I just haven't had a chance to get on and check it out, but they rave about the bins in Maine. They, there's only one. I went to theirs. I put a picture on my Instagram. So follow me there if you want to see it gorgeous right awesome so i got there right at the end of a rotation i should have called before i went but i was just so excited to go and i only got to sit through i only got to pick through bins that had already been very picked through so i didn't get a lot so i went i didn't have time to wait for another rotation because it takes them a while because they rotate out all, all the bins and put out all new um i didn't have time to wait so i went to the local goodwill so this is a combo of bins and goodwill haul okay I'll tell you which I got where. And all in all, this whole bag cost me about $40. So I went and I found this shirt. This is a women's cotton shirt by a brand called Pink, Thomas Pink. And I picked this up and I was gonna throw it back in. I got the bin, so it literally cost me less than a dollar. Um, I was gonna throw it back in, um, but I just took it home with me because I guess it had some ties at some point and it doesn't anymore. So I don't know how much I'm going to get for it, but the comps on the brand look pretty good. So I just grabbed it. I also picked up this bikini top, which is in perfect condition. It's from Victoria's Secret's pink line. Um, and, or it's just Victoria's Secret. Yeah, just Victoria's Secret. It's a medium. It's a halter style. It's got its pads. Um, it's got all its hardware. You got to check your bikinis really well when you're looking at them because sometimes the hardware is broken. I don't know why someone would donate a broken bikini, but people do, but it's got all of its, it's just the bikini top. So I won't make a ton of money on it, but these are like a solid 15 to 20 bucks, depending on what platform you're on. Um, flip and I know it's fall, but I'm still listing them. I don't care. These I picked up, they are LL Bean signature. Now LL Bean, if you don't know, is from Maine. That's where LL Bean originates. So you get lots of LL Bean at the main bins because a lot of people shop there. So this is what it looks like. These are cotton textured shorts and they're in really good shape. I just grabbed them. It looks like there's a couple little pulls. They'll sweater shave right off. But I got those. They're 100% cotton. I thought they were linen, but they're cotton, but I still grabbed them. Another pair of shorts I grabbed at the bins is from a brand called Free Planet. And I don't think this is, again, overly expensive. They're men's size 34, light blue cotton short. Um, I think I'll get 15 to 20 bucks for them on eBay, but for the price that I pay for them at the bins, like that's not a bad little flip. I also found this Tari wool blend cardigan. So this is what the tag looks like. It's a large, and it's this like faux leather lined, faux leather lining here. It has the zipper. I mean, just really, really cute little cardigan in really great shape. Um, it needs a little sweater shaving here and there, but nothing major. I try not to buy things that need a lot of work anymore because I'm just not into it. Like I used to be like, I used to be like, oh, I will take that project home and work it to death. I don't have the patience anymore. Um, I grabbed this tank top. I don't think this brand is worth a lot. I love H81. Like, that has to be something. Like Hollister or Hot Topic or, I don't know. It has to be like a spinoff brand. The reason why I got it though is because it has this beautiful leopard on it. So it's just a tank. It's really lightweight. Again, I probably paid like 30, 40 cents for this thing. Um, it's really, really nice. Raw hem. 
um, just cute. I just grabbed it. I thought it was cute. It's like, sure, you can come home with me instead of going to a landfill. That's fine. I grabbed this American Eagle sweater. It's an extra large and it is, I haven't looked at the fabric content yet, but it's like a, like a looser knit, really pretty, like dusty rose sweater. It has a mock neck and it is a cotton acrylic blend. So I mean, not, but I just thought it was really, really pretty and sitting at the bins. It didn't sell at the local Goodwill. The local Goodwill had it for $6 and didn't sell. So welcome home. We will find you a new home to live in. Um, this is from Orvis. There's an Orvis outlet in Maine as well. It's a size 14. It's hundred percent cotton and it's just a corduroy button up shirt. Really basic piece, but I think it'll sell. It's a good size. So I grabbed that at the bins. I also found this Ellie Tahari blazer. Now I bought this at um, the regular Goodwill because it was half price on this. So it was $2 and 50 cents for this blazer. I just thought this blazer was so pretty, really nicely made. Um, it has like a purple pinstripe. I don't know if you can see it, but really, really pretty. I don't know. I like Ellie Tahari. Um, I have, it, it's a slow sell, but it sells. And this is a um, wool blend, a wool blend blazer. I might even set this up into um, thread up. I haven't decided, but it was $2.50. So I bought it. I'm a sucker like that. Pick this up at LL, or I pick this up at the, um, the bins. It's LL Bean. It's a ladies large and it is, um, this like utility vest and it's this light sky blue utility vest it has all its buttons. I know it's not buttoned up all the way, but it does have all its buttons, but just really nice, like hiking vest, fishing, whatever it is you want to do out there in the, in the world. Ooh, my mask. <laughs> I didn't know that was in there. I gotta wash it now because it was in with all these clothes. These have not been processed, but they have been sitting for over a week, so they are safe. I grabbed this at the bins, and I think this might be a find. It is from Woolrich, and it's clearly like old Woolrich, and it is a men's large. Um, but I think that this will sell um, for like a for a girl for oversized. And it's this really cute little, just like sweater. With like, I don't know. It's got like little, like, is that a teepee? I mean, I don't know. What is this? But I bought it. Cause I just thought it was so cool, right? Just super cool. So I, I definitely was excited to get that. That was heavy. I probably, ooh, hello tripod. That was heavy. I probably paid like $2 for that, but even still, that seems to me like one of those pieces that are just gonna sell really well. This I picked up at the regular Goodwill and I probably paid more than I should have. It's Banana Republic, but it's the Banana Republic Mad Men collab and it's just a sheath dress. Like this really pretty, meant to look like 50s vintage, like, like the Mad Men movie dress. Um, really, really pretty. I'm gonna look at the fabric content here because I didn't do that yet. Clean only. Rayon. Oh, it's rayon and linen on the outside. And then the lining is acetate. The acetate is what makes it dry clean only. This stuff will shrink up and ruin if you don't dry clean it. So, um, I will probably tumble this in my dryer and then I will, um, steam it. Like I'll tumble it with a dryer sheet and then I'll steam it, but it's really, really pretty. These, the comps for these Mad Men collab dresses are all over the place. Ooh, it has pockets. Um, they're, they're all over the place, but I still grabbed it. I think I will list it for $30 and just wait because I think I can get 30, like 30 was the higher comps I saw, but I still think I can get 30. This I picked up at the regular Goodwill and it's from a brand called Mark Law. And I believe it's a, it might be a men's, it might be a woman's. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. It's like a grandpa sweater. It's like a tight knit grandpa cardigan sweater. It was half price. So I paid $3 for it. It was in the women's, um, marked women's. Let's see what's the fabric content on this cotton acrylic blend. I mean, it's not super made for in England. It's an English brand brand. So I don't know, but I thought it was cool. If it doesn't sell, I will keep it. Like 
I really like it. I've never seen this brand before. So I thought I would give it a whirl. Found this Janie and Jack little baby cardigan. Um, I'm gonna put this up on Kitizen. It's just like a little crop cardi, little four button. It was $2. Uh, it needs a little, needs a little sweater shaving, but nothing that I can't work with. Um, and it's cotton and wool and it can be washed in the washing machine. So, I mean, really, really cute. I think somebody will definitely buy that. Janie and Jack is really popular. I also picked up this bathing suit um, and it's from the brand. I got this at the regular Goodwill, not the outlet. That's why I have both pieces. Um, I believe it's Zella. Where did I buy you? Yes, it's Zella and it's a size 10. So I'm gonna look up comps. It's a little girl's bikini with like the longer sleeves. And then it has like this open, like corset style back. Um, a really nice bikini. I paid $5 for this. I did pay up, but I might keep it for my daughter um, cause the crotch area is like 100% clean. Um, I might keep it for my daughter. I might sell it. I have to look and see what they're selling for online. Um, and I got two pairs of shoes. I found these newts. They're a size bigger than what my son is wearing now. So I might hold on to these until next summer. I paid $4 for these in like perfect condition. I mean, perfect condition. So I might keep them. I might sell them. I haven't decided yet. Um, and I also bought a pair of Keens my first pair of Keens. These are little girl Keen sandals. They're a little dirty. They need a little love. Um, but I think if I put them in the washer, they'll wash right up. And they were $6. But I know that there are other resellers who always pick up Keens. This is my first pair. Super excited. I did see at the bins there, I have to tell you, they had Sorel boots and they were beat up like beat up Sorel boots. And I wanted to get them so badly, but they were like beyond use. Like they were filled with animal hair. Like they were just a mess. They weren't even, like it wasn't even the animal hair that turned me off, but they were really torn up and beat up. And they also had Sorel boots at the regular Goodwill, but they too were also torn up. And I have like, Sorel's are on my list. I want to pick up a pair of Sorel's. I wanted to get a pair of Keens. Like they're not like major brands. You know, Keen looks like this in case you're wondering keen there um these might be leather i might have to be careful with how i clean these because it feels like leather now that i'm like touching it although it might not be because why would you use keen or why would you use leather on a little kid's shoe that doesn't make sense like for like a outdoor water sandal type shoe but anyways so i've always wanted to find some keens because people rave about them so i'm really happy to have had those the newts were just an added little bonus. Like, I don't think anybody even wore these things. Like, that's how clean they are. They are super clean. Um, so, like, I mean, look at that. Like, perfectly clean. So, I'm really excited. Um, I might just keep these through next summer for him. They are like a water shoe. And if he doesn't wear them at all, then I'll just sell them next year. So that's it. That was my main haul, my state of Maine haul. I was super excited to be there. Saw a lot of family, had a lot of fun. Um, it was great. It was really great to be there. So uh, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. I know we all say it, but it really does help us. Like if you thumbs up a video. Um, I hope you enjoy what you saw. Uh, let me know below. Like if you have any comments about anything, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.